leaving and apologize about the wind anymore, guys. Uh, I'm back in Rapid City, South Dakota at my personal residence. It would box elder, not Rapid City. But back at America's mailbox. Why? Well, first of all, <laughs> I'm back in site six, although I have new neighbors on this side of me. I'm back in site six. And one week ago, this is South Dakota for you. One week ago, it was 96 degrees and I was running my air conditioner right here. Seven days later, tonight will be 35 degrees and I will be running my ceramic heater plugged in. That's South Dakota in a nutshell. One week from summer to winter, just like that. So uh, let me show you how this whole package system works because that's the important part. Oh, before we do that, wow, wow, no license plate on the front or back. I have a paper license plate. I did get a custom plate, but guess what? Nomad and Nomadic were both taken from South Dakota. And I had thought that I could use a zero for the O part of o Omatic or a one for Nomadic with the I. You can't do it in South Dakota if you're trying, if those numbers are trying to represent a tag that has already been assigned to someone. So since Nomad already exists, they won't let me use a zero, N zero M-A-D, because I'm trying to be the guy that's Nomad. So I picked something different and it's gonna take 45 days. And those are gonna be shipped down to me south wherever I am later by this company. For right now, I just have a paper tag, which is fine. Let me show you my, the app. I wanted to show you guys how it all works and everything. So see here on my phone, my thumb is, that's the new app. It says IRV Mail. That's the uh, app that I use. See there? It's through an iPostal account. iPostal One account or something like that. If I were to click on one of these pieces of mail here, it would give me a scanned view picture of the package or envelope. I don't want to do that because I have some personal information on there. But underneath each package, look at my three options here. Recycle, shred, or scan. Scan meaning I want you to open that package or envelope and give me the, uh, a picture of the contents of the inside. If it's spam or something, I could have them recycle it. If it's like a, a we want you to sign up for our credit card, I could say shred that. I can do all that from my phone right there. It's basically a virtual mailbox, which is really cool. So I went inside, brought out a bunch of boxes. This is not everything. I actually have nine packages. This is what happens when I get excited about ordering stuff from Amazon because I have a box and a place to pick it up. Uh, most of this is repairs for the RV, actually, and we will get to some of these probably in this video. Wind is just insane, though. Packages are always fun. It's like Christmas in October. Uh, Pierre, just want to let you know, I did get your sticker, heat sticker bus. Thanks, bud. I put a sticker in one of mine in here for you. We'll get that out to you to Canada. Thank you, bud. And Jules, thank you for all the stuff from Alaska. The tea, salt, I've never tried the caramel instant drink mix and all the books and the beautiful bald eagle leather bookmark. Thank you so much. Uh, here we are in my bedroom, my bed. This is my new magnet board. It's a four foot by I think 32 inch magnetic dry erase board for all of my magnets. Renee, I got the magnets, thanks bud. So I have all of my magnets back in the RV and it's gonna be four feet long. This is where all of my magnets are gonna go. So I'm gonna mount this to the wall here later. But first we're gonna start with a crappy project in the bathroom. It's been over a year now. I love my upgraded RV full-time toilet. I still love it. Most of you remember when I installed this bad boy. This is the Dometic 310 series low profile porcelain toilet. That's right, guys. Here's the sprayer. So it just makes cleaning up the toilet a lot easier and a lot better. But after a year of using this toilet, I can honestly say that it has a major flaw, okay? The construction of everything except the toilet seat. This is plastic. Complete plastic junk, okay? Not to mention, <laughs> sorry for this detail, but to make this more sturdy, they just have these ridges in here which are pr impossible to clean. You cannot just get the toilet brush and because you gotta get in between, you know what I mean? So I actually have to use a toothbrush several times a week and scrub between these stupid ribs that support the seat. Well, one of my subscribers, and I'm sorry I forgot your name, miss, but she gave me the link to Amazon to an upgraded seat and lid to this 310 toilet, and it arrived. Mm -hmm. About $32 on Amazon is available. It's a little heavy, 
this is your standard home toilet seat. This is a wooden, all wood toilet seat and lid made for this toilet by Dometic. Uh, you can see on the back, it's got these two notches up front, just like a normal toilet at home. So it's gonna be really easy to clean and take care of, and it's gonna feel normal sitting down on it. It's not gonna feel like an RV cheap plastic toilet seat. So let me go undo two bolts on the old one, and we'll pop this one in, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so the old lid is off. These are the screws. It's kind of a Phillips head on one end, and that end, that's what secures them into those. I wish it wasn't plastic. There may be a metal upgrade, steel upgrade for this later, but for right now, these are still working, so I'm not worried about adhering it on there. But let's line up our new wooden seat here. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll bolt this guy in, and then we will have a perfect toilet here. We're all secured back there. Use the same hardware, the same caps. This seems a little more exposed than the old seat, but I'm willing to accept that at least. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Gonna be so much easier to keep clean too. Really happy with that. Should I demonstrate it for YouTube? Eric. <laughs> I did actually sit down on it three times just to sit down and feel what the action, it, what a difference. Why does it make that much difference switching from flimsy plastic to a wood home use toilet? It makes a huge difference. I do love this toilet. I may have to order a new you poop sticker for it later though. Uh, yeah, highly recommend the uh, 310 series by Dometic with the wood upgrade available on Amazon. Oh, before we move on from toilet talk, I have an update because um, a couple years ago, I had talked about using Vaseline on the rubber gasket below. It was a whole video on how to protect that gasket down there. And I, I am thinking about either removing that video because I can't make an annotation and make a change. Don't use Vaseline on that rubber, guys. I was wrong. It actually makes the rubber go out faster. You want that black seal to be natural 100%. I mean, use cleaner on it and keep it clean, but you want it to be natural. You do not want to put a whole bunch of chemicals. I don't even think you want to put bleach down there. Um, I am basically re going to be replacing that seal once every year. I just did last month. I have a new one ready to go. I'm not going to show the process, but if you search for how to do it, there's lots of YouTube videos out there how to do it. The thing is, it's just, it's hard for me to make it look clean is the basic thing, but you can pull it, pull the old one out and have this one in in three breaths because once you open that, it's gonna be, you know, really smelly. So <sighs> three breaths and that's how easy it is to pop in a new rubber seal. So, and these are like 11 bucks on Amazon, just good maintenance for full timers to keep that seal so that smells don't go throughout the cab later, right? Yeah, but no Vaseline on the rubber gasket, please. Okay. Okay, let me uh, unwrap my magnetic board here. I will install it and then we'll start in putting the magnets back up here in the bedroom area. Here's all my old magnets. Um, two things before I actually install this. One, it's a magnetic dry erase board. And I just looked at this side and realized I think I like this side better. In fact, okay, there's the white side, but it's magnetic. You can stick magnets to it, okay? But I think, maybe it's just me, but I think this side is more magnetic and more sturdier for magnets. So I'm gonna save the dry erase side and put that against the wall and use the silver side for magnets instead. Does that sound okay, Jex? Oh, okay. Also the wall that I'm dealing with. Um, a couple, this is where my O2 sensor is or carbon monoxide detector is. I'm gonna move this guy. And then that is a port for accessing the shower uh, plumbing stuff behind there. It's just a cover so that it's covered, you can't see it. I'm, since it's recessed, I don't know if you can see, it's recessed out the wall, I am gonna remove it, and the dry erase board's gonna go back there and cover up that hole instead. Then it'll be the same thing. I gotta undo four screws on the dry erase board, magnet board, to access the, the shower plumbing if I ever need to. Also a good time to remind everybody, every six months replace the batteries and your carbon monoxide alarm. And your smoke detector. Just do them both every six months and then you won't have to worry about it. And it might be overkill that early, but just to be safe, right? And just for the record, my propane leak detector runs off DC, so that does not take batteries to operate that. It's going to work no matter what. You just, just had to get in the shot. Okay, thanks for checking it for me, dude. All right, the wall is all prepped. One more thing I forgot to mention about this board is that it only weighs 4.8 pounds. 
So it's much, much lighter than those pieces of steel, those three pieces of steel that I was mounting magnets to before. This is nothing, okay? So that that's cool too. You were keeping a close eye on me. Was I doing everything okay? I did pretty good? You didn't make the bed, Dad. I know, I know. But here's what we got. I decided to go flush against the left corner instead of the right corner uh, because I wanted to cover that plumbing hole mostly. But uh, we got it all installed. That is my entire... Uh, five years on the road collecting magnets, even though I've been on the road seven years, eight years, I mean. Uh, only been collecting magnets for five. And now I get to see them. Every time I go to bed, I get to look and remember all the places I've been and all the things I've done. And we're only mm, a little over half full <laughs> before I need to uh, find another little one that'll go right there. And yes, that is the plan. Well, the table's out, guys told you I was going to show you this. There is just so much steel. The entire base, this entire piece of steel all the way around. All this bracket steel, aluminum rails, and of course my aluminum rack here. And I'm just running out of places to even drill into this whole section. So it's just not working. Plus, it's like I said, it's just too heavy. So the table is out now. I unscrewed this tiny flexible little thing. It's funny to see, see? Because uh, this is that thing I built. Uh, the old uh, furnace was under there. There's my water pump and there's my electronics down there. So what I want to do is tap into the... Oh, are you checking it out for me? Thanks. Um, I'll clean under here. I guess I guess dust and cat hair got under there. I'm going to be building something right here that with the construction I've already done with this 2x2, uh, two two, I'm going to be building the, the surface to it to adhere the, the new table to. This is the wood I got. 2x4 uh, cut in half. A two by six, I believe, cut in half. And then some half inch board here as well. I'm gonna draw up the plans and then we'll start cutting and putting this together. Uh, I had to pack up and leave. <laughs> uh, Ranger came and told me that that campground at the lake is closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And I said, really? How would I know that? I said, well, the locals like to come and remove the signs and then travelers get in trouble. <laughs> So there's supposed to be a big sign out front of the campground that says closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's not. He directed me here to Buffalo Gap in the National Forest where they have amazing, even better camping, no water. But uh, look at the fall colors, six bucks a night. I'm just gonna stay one night and then go back tomorrow. But I mean, this, this is stinking gorgeous. We're getting the uh, changing of the seasons here in North Dakota. Um, the only other problem was I was trying to work out something specific and meet people at that campground. All right, more on that in my next video though. For now, we'll finish this uh, table project here at this awesome campsite. All right, I got my brace installed there. I've got a two by four behind these two right here on the inside. And then I got my two by six right here, bolted in all the way down, anchored anchor at the bottom on both edges. This is a very strong surface. That's what is going to mount the side of the table. And I'm gonna drill a little hole in the exterior. This will be the gas line for the propane when I wanna use the onboard tank instead. We'll get to that later. I just wanna, wanted to bring it out though. The leg and the arm are all installed there. I'm just kinda test fitting the table right now just to see what kinda happens with certain things. And I definitely want the lighter side because it matches more of the interior. See that color matched with that color kind of dead on okay so and the last step is to physically screw into the table itself and then of course this whole thing will still rotate so it's not really permanent all right we'll take a quick look at the uh, components of this before I show you how it works and everything I got the skirt back on I did have to cut it to go on the other side over here and there's the propane line sticking out ready for us for the the buddy heater and uh, yeah let me demonstrate this all right Nothing like the feel of getting the job done right. Didn't I just sit here in the same exact position like two and a half years ago and brag about the pedestal table? No, this is better. Easy in and out. Workstation. <laughs> when I want to get up. That's ah, great. Not to mention, unlike the other table that while I was driving would slide back and forth, all of these have locking mechanisms for while driving. So we'll close that one. 
close that one. Now the table is going to stay here while I'm driving. The laptop won't stay up here because there's no lip up here. Right? This will still go down the seat, but the table won't be spinning back and forth while I'm driving. So, and like I said, these are made for boats. They're not cheap, but they knew exactly what they were thinking when they designed this to open the space up, right? It can still go up and down. I got, I don't know exactly how much room I have to go up. Not much, <laughs> but I did it right the first time. This is the way I should have started. But uh, anyway, yeah, if you want to, laguna.com, it's on Amazon. Then you can order a little tabletop, whatever size you want. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? Good little project, good little fix. And now the jackknife sofa will be able to be pulled out because there's nothing right here. Yes! Now, hopefully, my friends will show up tomorrow. Uh, I missed them in Billings, and uh, it didn't work at the other campground, but still in touch, trying to make this happen. We'll see what happens in my next video. Actually, with my delay, you guys have already probably found out by their channel if we have or haven't met up. So, anyways, lots of projects. Still got more to do. Just wanted to share that with you because that's all I've been doing the last two days. Okay, guys, check us out. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye bye.